And just like that, we're in San Francisco. Let's go meet Liz. All right, so my mom used to tell me growing up, the best way to know somebody is through their culture. I found out that you're Spanish, so we're going to a Spanish restaurant for the first go. Chicken tacos, beef tacos. That sounds good to me. Let's get started. <laughs> first things first, what's your name? Liz. My channel is about being real and honest about who I am and how I was able to achieve my weight loss. You shouldn't feel pressured or unhappy because you're not losing the weight as fast as you want to because like I said, this is a life journey to become better, to feel good, to look good, and just better yourself daily. Wow. All right, Liz, before we dive in there, I gotta ask you some questions. One, what made you wanna lose weight? So I decided I wanted to lose weight when I realized that I had all the power to do so. Like. I realized that nobody was going to do it for me. There was no secret to weight loss. It was all my responsibility to lose weight if I wanted to. So once I realized that, I had no other option but to take action. Now, if you don't mind me asking, how much did you weigh when you, when you thought that? <laughs> so I weighed about, the biggest I ever got was 268 pounds. Um, I probably got over that, but the last time I had checked how much I weighed, it was 268, so. What was your hardest obstacle while you were losing weight? Was, there, was it a mental obstacle or was it like a physical obstacle? It was definitely a mental because mentally you have to understand that you're not going to see results from when you start within a week. You're not gonna see results instantly. You have to understand that patience is key and if you wanna see results, like you cannot give up. You have to keep pushing even those days when there is no motivation because a lot of people say, oh, I have to be motivated in order to lose weight. That's not true because motivation's not always gonna be there. Like you will never wake up motivated every day. So you just gotta know in order for me to lose weight, I have to keep going. I have to keep doing what I'm doing. Consistency is key and just keep it going. <laughs> Amazing. So if you had to give your advice to one kid as overweight and she really wants to go through this but her mental game is weak, what advice would you give her? I would recommend to start as soon as possible. Do things that you're able to do. Like I'm not saying go to the extremes and do heavy lifting, but just like little workouts here and there, be more active eat healthier, better choices, um, because as you get older, you get more busier, and it's funny you ask, because I was actually in my senior year when I started my weight loss journey, and I knew, like, I have to do this now before I graduate, because once I graduate, I know I'm gonna get a job, I'm gonna become busier, and I'm not gonna have time like I do now for me to lose weight and focus on myself so that was like a big thing that i kept in mind when i did take action because i was like it's a now or never thing was there any time in your life that you wanted to just give up and quit oh yeah there was many times that i wanted to give up throughout my journey and especially on family occasions where they would have the best food around um i always took a mental note that you know what it's okay i'm gonna eat i'm just gonna portion size myself mm -hmm. and hit the gym harder the next day and just keep it pushing. All right, one more question while we have the tacos. If there's anything that you could do again, over, like redo it during your weight loss journey, what would you cut out or what would you put more of? Like what would you do, what would you change up? That's a very interesting question because I always say that I wouldn't change anything. But now that I look back at it, honestly, I just felt like if I would have added weightlifting a little sooner into my routine I feel like I could have transformed a bit faster but you know it's okay like um I don't like say that I would go back and change that for sure but I mean it's something it. yeah I would yeah. just add it to my routine so now we're moving on to desserts but I still wanted to stick to the culture thing and I want to do something that's more like me Greek I am not Greek I'm a Syrian but I look Greek so we'll play with it so my next sweet question would be uh, if you could only have one cheat meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, pizza. Oh. Yeah, good choice. <laughs> good choice. My next question would be, do you want a napkin? <laughs> mm -hmm. And also, if you had one superpower, what would it be? Teleporting. Why, why did you answer that so quick? 
What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Teleporting. Why? Where do you want to go? What? <laughs> No traffic, and if you don't want to be in a situation, you're like, boop, teleport. Would you teleport right now? No. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm enjoying this way too much. Okay, cool. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right, what's your favorite trait about yourself? My favorite trait would be that I could be motivational. <laughs> I love it. She likes confidence. Ooh, is it that Medi Spa that's like on, on the billboard? I don't know. It just says Kate Spa. That's the name. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, motivational. She's very motivational. In fact, that's why EHP asked me to come to you. They put me on a plane and said, yo, I'm so sorry. It's it's the Greek yogurt. I flung it at a gentleman. <laughs> right at him. And they said, get on the plane, <laughs> go see her. She's freaking motivational. You guys saw the before and after pictures. It's insane. Thank you so much for coming on to this and talking about your life. Hopefully it trains the minds of younger people or older people to get on a better path. Because this could be you. You could be living a happy and better life. Thank you. Is there one last thing you want to say to everybody? Um, get your shit done. Oh shit! <laughs> get your shit done! <laughs> Ladies, how you doing? Alright. Um, <laughs>